Good. Uh, amongst the seven skills that we have seen, we saw posture, we saw movement, we saw body language, we saw eye contact, we saw devil's attitude. Which is, by a country mind, the hardest skill to premise? Why? Mm -hmm. right. It's a very subtle art. It's a very, very subtle art. It is very delicate. And the stakes are very, very high. It's like me at the poker table. I, I, I don't think I've ever used so many poker metaphors in my life. I never even played poker. I think there's something in this audience. I, I just keep going back to poker. Right. Right. You, you are a poker player. Okay, sure. Yeah, and there's just the energy there. Yeah, I think there's the intensity. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. <coughs> What is the how of humor? Also, uh, if we answer that, you know, in line with why humor is difficult, posture is something that you can turn on when you come in front of the audience. Okay. Devil's advocate is something you can turn on when you come in front of the audience consciously. Is humor something you can turn on when you come in front of the audience? No. No. Why? It's natural. If you are not somebody who is very humorous outside, fat chance yeah. that you will be when you are inside. So therefore, the reason why the reason is very difficult is because humor is a philosophy of life. Humor is a way of life. Right? So that, that's also one reason why it's so difficult. Okay, great. That out of the way. What is the how of what is What are things that we can do? <coughs> At a fundamental level, to be more humorous in general. Who self to be more self aware? Who said that? Yeah, certainly self awareness, yes, absolutely. Whatever the constant negative feedback we are getting, we can make it work for us. Yeah. Then we are using it. Yes, okay. These are at tactic levels. At a more fundamental level, what is it that you can do? Be more aware about uh, the audience, the surrounding, and what is generally taken well and not. Sorry. Be more aware of the audiences as to what is generally taken well and what is what is, what is not. Sure. That's also something. Basically, right. look out for anything which you find humorous and reflect it on yourself. And reflect it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. As a def reflect it and deflect it on yourself. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. So taking jobs seriously. And taking self seriously. Now, for better or for worse, this has been, humor has been a subject which has consumed me for a very long time and I sort of spent a fair amount of time, even at Game Changer, I spent a lot of time understanding the why, what, and how of humor, and a little bit of understanding. We believe that humor or no humor, at the heart of it, at the heart of it, boils down to this, alright, and we'll speak about this presently. What is the meaning of taking your job seriously? Whatever the short terms, as at a personal level, whatever the task given in hand, you are very serious about it. Okay, so when you take a job seriously, you are sincere? Yeah. Okay, what else? And more. You have a work ethic? Okay, what else? When I say that Vaino is somebody who takes his job seriously, what do I mean? Discipline. He's disciplined. Commitment. He's committed. Hard work. He's hard working. Reliable. He's reliable. And all of those things. So when I say Vaino is somebody who takes his job seriously, that is a compliment. Yes. No holds back. Yes or yes? Yes. yes. Okay. If I say instead that Weber is someone who takes himself seriously, is that a compliment? What is the meaning of taking himself seriously? He doesn't welcome humor in a positive way. Okay. What are some of the symptoms and signals that we put on show, whether consciously or not, when we take ourselves seriously? Stiff look. You are stiff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stiff. Okay. What else? What is the meaning of taking yourself seriously? Kya matlab kya hai is baat ka? Easily. At the drop of a? Mentioning. 
Not, not just getting offended, being perpetually okay. yes, <laughs> offended. Yeah. Is that something that you see increasingly around you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. May or may not be snobbish as a little sort of getter of fish, but getting offended is a sign of taking yourself seriously. Fantastic. What else? Not responding sometimes. Okay. Yes. The J word? Judgment. Yes. Yeah? Judgmental. Judgmental? Not being able to suspend judgment, etc. Now, <coughs> one or two things here. And possibly just step away from this and give you a, uh, <coughs> an example that may happen in a real scenario. <coughs> uh, <coughs> so, <coughs> me and my friend here. What is your this birthday? Who, according to you, is the worst film director in town? You want to finish? Okay. Who is the worst film director? Oh my god, I go everywhere in this country. The last few years I've asked this question. Every single time the poor souls come up. Now, no matter what. Sajid Khan. Sajid Khan. Come on, next to the house. Every single time. That guy is not going to be here. Now, so, take a look at the book. On his birthday, because I'm his friend and his best friend at that, I want to take him to a Sajid Khan movie. <laughs> right? I said, hi, I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Sajid Khan. No, 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 no. I'm going to go. So he's kicking, screaming, but he comes off. Okay. Now, just the deal. In that pile of gibberish that is a Sajid Khan movie, in that existential crisis that is a Sajid Khan movie, <laughs> right? In those two hours, is there a possibility that there is one or two scenes of genuine humor? Yes. Is there a Slaps like breakfast. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't be angry. You define your job. <laughs> then generally, is it possible? Yeah. Yes. Possible. <laughs> so my friend here is somebody who takes himself seriously. <coughs> is he like to laugh at this? No. no. What? That's only made it his mindset. Mind. Yeah, because he believes true. laughing in a Sanjay Khan movie is an insult to his intelligence. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. There are a couple of things, there are so many things, see these things we do. We do problem in taking self seriously. Is this something that only restricts itself to arrogant, snobbish people? No. This business of taking self seriously is something that well-meaning, intelligent, hard-working people like you and you, because I'm none of those, but you and you also can be guilty of from time to time. Yes. 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 And I'll, I'll possibly just point out one, two, three examples, see if these images speak to you. So let's say, how many, how many months have you been at, at, at SRW? Nine months. Nine months. How many months have you been there? Three. Sure. Sure. So nine months you've been here, right? And let's say the last three weeks have been a terror for you. Mm -hmm. the world that happens. So <coughs> you've been at it, right? Sixteen hours of one day is six days a week. Does it sound like you now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen hours of one day, six days a week, you've been at it, there's been you no know, semblance of balance in your life. So if on and so forth. This morning, when you walk inside for this session, you saw some color. He was just sitting outside the sofa there. He had his headphones on and he was driving mind and he was some music and I said, I don't know. I don't know. He's just sort of driving. You look at him. What is it? Three weeks, 16 hour one day, six days a week. He's like in his face. He's sitting there. And add to that same salary. <laughs> <laughs> He's been there. What do you think? Fresh beer. Fresh beer. Fresh 
clear and clean. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes. What do you think? That's that's a good challenge because I need a fresh view. Yeah. 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 So don't give the right answer. Give me the yes. give me the right answer. <laughs> so maybe it's, I mean that, that's what his department is. What should I give No. What should I give? The department is good guys. So it's some music. Uh, <laughs> All right. Think... This is a sorted guy. Yeah? Get out. Yeah. All right. Let's get to some uh, some more details. Yeah. What 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 are you thinking when he is sitting there? Go and tell me. I mean, I cannot put it two words in this audience. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I even guess the flow. Right. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. 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 More seriously, team. Get this, get this, get this, get this straight. When this happens, when this happens, and when this happens over a period of time, a total side effect of this. Person will come see you think you're the only one who's working hard in this world. Right, right. And you know, for the life of your mind, how is it that anybody has time for any of these things? Yeah. yeah. But, uh, okay. <laughs> My work, your work, not mine. Okay? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, till, so, basic question. Till now, when we were talking about taking self seriously, all the um, explanation or descriptions that we have listed out, it's all having a negative connotation. Now there are situations in office life when a person is very good at his or her work but dresses shabbily, mm. right? Okay. And a common comment after a particular period of time is mm. that he doesn't take himself seriously. Okay. There's a way you need to present yourself in mm. addition to work. There are sort of mm. softer mm. aspects mm. to work. Sure. So, so, if we look at it from that point of view, I don't think so. Uh, okay. It's it's negative in, uh, if if you take. So it. that's a third category uh, altogether. I know what you mean. So it, it might also be said, for example, when you say uh, somebody doesn't take their health seriously, he's not taking self seriously, or doesn't take personal grooming seriously. That's so taking that as, even. Yeah. That, 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 sorry. Yes. Up to you. Even uh, someone has the capability, hmm. but he or she is not. Utilizing that capability to get the results which he or she gets can get, and sure. everyone in the head of the department sees that. Sure. And but if you don't do it at the expense of being uh, to come across all those, hmm. I mean, I don't think so. it's a fair basis uh, of judging a person. Okay, so I'm saying that taking self seriously. So let's first see if I understand your question correctly. You're saying that. <coughs> I am somebody who is very good at my job, but I will address very sharply. Or I am. So your comment is, should I take myself? Shouldn't shouldn't yeah. I take myself more seriously? Or I have an aptitude, but I am not actually. Uh, all right, sure. Yeah. So I am saying that's a, that's not what we are talking about at all, mm -hmm. and I have no sort of uh, 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 clamor against that. You should be able to do whatever it takes. This taking self seriously business is basically a business of stiffness, basically a business of judgment, basically a business of not willing to understand other person's worldviews. That's taking yourself seriously okay. and stopping with that. Now, to go back to what we were saying, <coughs> Is it only arrogant people who fall in this category or, or run a risk of falling in this category or people who are intelligent, people who are smart, people who do their work very very well and yet run the risk of taking themselves seriously? Is it also the latter category that falls there? Yes. yes. Alright, time for some candor folks. In my limited experience, I go all around, speak to a bunch of people everywhere. Right now, right now, there is no bigger ill, there is no bigger disease that afflicts corporate India than taking self-service. If it was a crime, just one moment. Uh, if it was a crime, half of them would be behind. Yes, go for it. There's another category I think people who take themselves very seriously. Somebody who feels that, you know, they, are they, have, a, they have a complex. <laughs> <laughs> so even those kind of people take themselves very seriously and they take 
take little things to the ego, you know. You know this person. So we are in a more inferiority complex. It's an inferiority complex. Right. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. That's sort of another degree. Now, without sort of straying too much away, how does this tie in with humor? What what is the relationship, if any, between not taking yourself seriously and being humorous while you're making a presentation? Is it so important thought category? Sorry. No, what is the relationship between no if, if you manage to not take yourself seriously? How does it, if at all, lead to being more humorous while you're making a presentation? So if you it can make you the self part. Yeah. Get to the self-deprecating part. So you are able to call your own process. Hmm. You know that you have a job to do, and yet you see that you are not the only one. Yes. Quote unquote. Now, please understand. If he sees him jiving. Does it mean he will not fully be responsible? Responsible. He will, for example, if you are calling to him, mm -hmm. he will still. Does it mean I'm saying don't please don't call him responsible? Is that what I'm saying? No. You call him responsible. You don't attribute motives for his behavior. Does it make sense? No. So I'm saying I will still hold you responsible for what you need to do. So when I say I'm not taking myself seriously, I'm not saying I let you go. Mm -hmm. I let you be. If you have a deliverable at hand, I will still hold you to it. But if you are not doing it, I am not saying, Hey, you are doing this, you are doing this, you are doing this. That is again taking myself. So, I want you to do your job. But I am not going to ask you to do it. So, the point is this. If you step aside of the humor bit, what happens? What happens? Forget work. Forget presentations, forget SR. At your home, if you're sitting inside your room waiting to sleep, and if you're somebody who takes himself or herself very seriously, what are some side effects? Fine. <coughs> Our thoughts as to the professional media. Okay. What is what are some of the side effects of taking yourself seriously? Are you able to form an amazing relationship? Giving the timetable to the team and not uh, making some time for things that. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, is it easy for you to form an amazing relationship? No, because because you don't make time for people in that case. Right, even when you do, you are. It's all about you. Hmm. No learn and learn. First. No learn and learn. We learn. And who is the most susceptible to this syndrome? Which category of people? Blue collar workers, white collar workers, white collar, white collar, intelligent, MBA, CA, PhD, yes, yes. 